L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Muna. Hi, I'm Tabitha Nauser. And this is Behind the Artist with Bandwagon. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about life right now? I'm a 15. Wow. I'm super, I'm very so excited. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm in a really good place. I feel very, you know, comfortable yeah. and and um, yeah, it's just a really exciting time. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Okay, so describe yourself in a hashtag. Hashtag <laughs> empowered. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> I want to copy it also. Okay, show us a picture of your favorite Singaporean dish. Oh my gosh, okay, so if anybody Yum. knows me, mm -hmm. you would know that this is my all-time favorite dish, uh -huh. prata. I love it. I love prata so much. I will have it after a clubbing session, okay. I will have it for breakfast, I will have it any time of the day that I can. Yeah. And cheese prata is my go-to. Okay, do you like, have I it with sugar? Oh yeah. Oh, you have you a bit of sugar, those. a bit of curry, yeah. and then you... Oh, Okay. It's so good. You have to try it if you haven't. Uh, favorite achievement in the last year? I would say I'm just very happy with the projects that I've managed to do in the last mm. year. I put out my own music, so my own singles. I think I put three out. Yeah. But I also did collaborations with um, international artists, so a Korean artist called Jung Killa mm. and Indonesian artist called Weird Genius. So I'm happy that I got to do that, especially since, you know, last year was, you know, crazy year for everybody. So I'm excited. I was happy about that. Uh, what's one thing you want people to take away from your new music releases this year? I think that I am experimenting. Mm. So I'm trying new things. So, you know, I hope that they can get a sense of, you know, that I just want to do things that are a bit more tapping into my creative side, mm. stepping outside of my box. Yeah. I want them to feel confident and empowered when yes. they're listening to the music <laughs> and just to feel good about themselves. Best part of working on new music? Oh yeah, I would say um, it's meeting new people yeah. because with every project that I've done, I get to you know either travel or I get to meet people that I've never met before and mm. then they end up becoming lifelong friends. Yeah. So that I would say is the most, you know, just fun part about doing music yeah. um, because you never know who's going to end up just somebody that's in your life for, you know, years to come. Least favorite part about working on new music? I think for me, the least favorite part would be the time after you've done the first demo and then when you release. Why? I think for me that's the most stressful part of it okay. because I tend to be a person that like you know if you give me the time in the world yeah. I will take it and I will <laughs> and I will just you know use it to, to do so many different versions yeah. of this of one track yeah. and I think for me I need to know when to say no and be like okay this is this is the best mm. Let's go with that. Yeah. And then finally it gets released and you're like, yeah. Ooh. And then I'm like, whoo, okay. <laughs> Good. Next one. Okay, pictures or videos of three things you can't live without. Eh? Oh, two things. <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought three things. All right. Two things then. All right. Please explain okay. this. Okay, 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 I need okay. To okay. Know. okay, in the last year or so, <laughs> right? Because we've had quite a bit of time at home, I think a lot of people have been watching TV. Yes. And I have been hooked on reality TV. Mm -hmm. So Married at First Sight, okay. I think they have a UK version and a US version. Yeah. But the Australian one, I have been hooked on. It is so good, it's so juicy. It's kind of like Love is Blind, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, just so much more dramatic and so much more exciting. And so that's this, this is one of the things I've been watching. Okay. I need to know before we move on yeah. to the next picture, yeah. would you take part in this? <gasps> no. <laughs> I would not. I am happy to watch other people do it. Yeah. I wouldn't do it personally, but like, no. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I, tr I really try it not to be cheesy yeah. um, when, you know, answering this question, yeah. but I just couldn't help it. My little puppy, she's seven months. And um, I'm just obsessed with her. And I, I think I never, I wasn't prepared for just how in love I would be with her when I, when, when I was first getting her. Yeah. 
But now, just like, you know, five months down the line, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's my whole world. Like, she's I'm obsessed. Life. Yeah. I have, this is gonna be so cheesy, but oh. I have a little necklace as well. I've become one of those people. I've become you a. You're like a dog mom. Weird dog yeah. mom, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah weird it's, dog mom, it's, for it's sure. Sad? I don't know if no, it's sad. It's adorable. <laughs> it's very sweet. I love it. Okay. Oh. Heels, flats, or sneakers? Sneakers. Mm. Who is yes. your style icon? At the moment, it's Amina Muadi. Okay. She recently worked with Rihanna to create a, a line of heels. I don't know if you've yeah. seen it, but they're gorgeous. But also, if you just go onto her Instagram page, she is like is the best at pairing streetwear with high fashion. Mm. And I just, I love everything about her style. Which is like you. Oh, thank Beautiful. you. I love it. <laughs> uh, if you could do it with anyone, dead or alive, who would you want to sing with? Um, this is a really hard question because mm -hmm. um, there's so many people I would pick. But if I if I just had to choose one, Nat. I would pick maybe Nat King Cole, just because I really huh. growing up when I was younger, we would always play his songs in the house. Yeah. And my mom is a big fan, so is my dad, and so I think for me, just you know, growing up hearing his voice, I think it would be so nice if we could do a duet. Huh. All right, what's your biggest challenge or fear in life? Uh, my biggest fear, I think, would be not doing enough or not trying hard enough. I think I'm, uh, I'm worried about maybe not fulfilling my potential or just, you know, I, I think that kind of always is in the back of my mind. I think about it a lot. And then, most adventurous thing you've done in your life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, let me explain this video. Yes, what's so, happening? let me give you some context, okay? okay? So, I have a really messed up back from like years ago. Oh. So, for that reason, I can't really do roller coasters. Okay. And I have never done one up until two years ago. Mm -hmm. And so, I was out in Hong Kong mm -hmm. with my boyfriend Louis. And he was like, oh, let's go do this fun fair. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, we'll play all the, you know, other games. Yeah. We're not going to do the roller coaster. And then he's like, no, let's just, let's just go. Let's just go try one. I was like, nah, it's really not for me. Yeah. And I was terrified because it was the first one I'd ever been on. And, he, and it ended up being one of those things where it's like, um, you, it's, a, it's like a pole, right? Uh -huh. And then you have two like com compartments where people can sit, but then it spins like that. Okay, okay. Right? Yes. And then uh, on top of that, the actual compartment spins as yes. well. I don't know why I said yes, uh, but I said yes and I did it. And I, it honestly felt like I was about to pass out. You know, you've seen those videos yeah. where people like <laughs> faint. It felt like that was going to happen. But I got through it and I came off feeling like a brand new person. I was like, damn. Girl, would you do it again? Yes, I would. Oh, I actually okay. would. Like I've kind of become a bit of a roller coaster yeah. adrenaline junkie now. Yeah. So I would actually. Okay. But I can't believe that the first time I did it was only two years ago. Yeah, the now I'm like, let's go junkie, for it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. Superpower you won. Oh, read minds. Ah. One hundred percent. Right? Yeah. Don't you want to know what all these people in the room are thinking Completely. right now? Completely. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> okay, show us a picture or video of your favorite place in Singapore. Okay, so I have been exploring Singapore mm -hmm. recently <laughs> and I have really liked the more, you know, um, nature side of Singapore. I feel like a lot of us, we don't really, you know, notice. So this one is near um, our place where we stay and, and because we have to bring Difa for walks and things like that, um, this is the Riverside Park and it's beautiful. It they is. have like mangroves and it's just really nice. It feels like you're transported into an entirely different... It does not feel like Singapore yeah, and I, I think that's what say. I like about it. Pretty. Okay, best piece of advice you've received? Best advice, control the controllables. Okay, explain. <laughs> So basically, there are things in life that, you know, you're not going to be able to control. No matter what you do, you know, you're just not going to be able to change it or do something to make yeah. it better. And you just need to sit with that fact and be okay with it and move on. And then just work on the things that you actually can control. And so that is something that I learned about two or three years ago. And it's honestly changed the way that I think and do stuff. And it's just the best piece of advice I've received. Yeah. Best advice you'd give your teenage self? Don't work so hard trying to please people because you will fail. Yeah. <laughs> There's just no working around it. Like, you know, work on yourself. But yeah, don't, 
be wasting energy on that kind of stuff. Uh, best way to decompress? Ooh, I love masking. <laughs> I love masking and then putting my feet up. Either like, you, oh, have you tried foot masks? They're like mm. little socks that have, oh, basically it's a okay. mask for your, fa uh, for your yeah, feet. Yeah, for your feet. Yeah, and what? it's amazing. So I put that on, yeah. put my own mask on my face and then just chill out. Put some TV on, married at first sight. <laughs> your favorite show, <laughs> now we know. All right, if your life were a song, what would the title be? <sighs> Destiny's Child. Oh. Survivor. <laughs> yeah. I love that song. Yeah. I love that song so much. And, and I, I can picture you in the video too. Yeah, in the camo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like on the yeah, beach. On the <laughs> okay, what's the first image on your phone camera roll? Cutie! Don't, I don't know why this is the first image on my phone. <laughs> Who is that you're holding? It's some mascot. So basically, this photo was taken at the press uh, day for the Youth Olympic Games. Yeah, okay. And okay, okay. I sang the Yes. theme song yes. with Sean Kingston, yes. which is very I random, <laughs> but so they were like, take a picture with the mascot yeah. and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I think I was 18 here. So cute. Yeah. Okay, what's the last image on your phone camera roll? Last What's image. happening here? Explain. <laughs> I have no, I sometimes like to try uh, filters and then just take pictures and send them to random people. <laughs> so this was one of them. Very um, attractive still though. I thought I looked pretty good yeah. for being green, you know. Yeah. I think it years. looks kind of natural and yes. it's a, yeah, it's a look I could work with. I <laughs> love it. I woke up like this. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, hashtag. <laughs> Best gift you've ever received. Yeah. So it's this a vinyl mm -hmm. of my very first EP called Things I Should Have Said. Yeah. And it's something that I've always wanted to do to be able to have like a physical copy of my music. And yeah. we don't really do that nowadays. Yeah, exactly. And so I thought, you know, for a long time, I've always been like, oh, a vinyl would be so cool if I could mm. have one. And then I got this as a birthday surprise. And at the time I had a vinyl player, after we played it for the first time, the vinyl player died. So <laughs> I have ne I've only listened to it on that one day on my birthday. And then since then, I haven't listened to it because I haven't got a new vinyl player. So next gift. Yeah. Hint, hint. Okay. <laughs> Best gift you've ever given. I'm a horrible gift giver. Oh no. I really am. I'm the worst. I overthink everything. Mm. And then at the end of the day, I don't have a gift because I'm like, Oh shit! I like I, I was thinking about it for so long, and then now I have nothing. I love you. Yeah, I'm like yeah, I'm me. Yeah. I'm the present. <laughs> okay, quick one. Okay, Kopi yeah. or Tasty? Tasty. Sunny or rainy? Sunny. You are stuck on an island. You can pick one food to eat forever without getting tired of it. What would you eat? Hold on. Roti prata or Maggi goreng? Oh, this one's pretty. It's this. pretty we obvious. I'm gonna this. go with prata. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Best thing to happen to you this week. This week, oh, um, the official lyric video for my song Slow Down just came out. Yay! Yes, so okay. I'm very excited about that. Worst thing to happen to you this week? N nothing. nothing. Yeah, You're nothing. You're 15. Yeah, I'm a 15. Yeah, I'm living my life. I'm living my best life. <laughs> okay, best compliment you've ever received? Oh, that, that I'm beautiful, but not just not physically. Mm -hmm. I, it was meant in the context of I am beautiful on the inside, and I thought that was very sweet. Aww. Yeah. Favorite smell? Um, favorite smell? Vanilla. Anything vanilla. Mm. Yeah. What's the last thing that made you cry? I haven't cried in a long time. Like a really long time. Not even Australia. Um, what's that? I married oh, at first sight. Married at first sight? No, it actually made me really angry. I feel, like you guys, I feel like you guys need to watch it to understand. I'm not going to give anything away. Song you can listen to on repeat. Okay, I don't want to make this uh, a plug or anything, but my new track, yes. Slow Down, you yes. have to, like, honestly, I play it, I can play it on repeat. Slow Down. Yes. Do I sound like yeah. you? Oh my god, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. What are you most excited about at this time in your life? Okay, so imagine you're in a museum that you've been in like 5,000 times. You know it, you love the museum, you're walking around, you look at the exhibits, you're like, oh, this is cool. And then all of a sudden, one day you go and you're like, oh, there's a new room. And you walk in and it's like, wow, there's so many new exhibits and things that I can learn and look at and enjoy. That's how I feel right now. I feel like I've stepped into a new room and there's so many exciting things that I can do and look at and learn and, you know, embrace. And I'm excited about that. Yeah, I love that. Okay, yeah. last question. Your affirmation for today. Go out into the sun and Feel the warmth on your skin. I don't know what I'm saying. And drink lots of water. Yes. That is my affirmation for today. Because it makes you feel good. It recharges yeah. you. I feel like 
Yeah, I like being in the sun and having it on my skin. I feel like a brand new person. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> thank and you. Thank you so much for watching. For more interviews, head to bandwagon.asia. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.